Hey there, it's Mark with Coder. I'd like to give you a quick demo of using our plugin for JetBrains Gateway. So in this case, I'm going to be, I'm a Java developer. I want to use IntelliJ. Um, I don't want to use it in a browser. So you'll see I have JetBrains Gateway installed on, on my machine. In this case, that's a MacBook Pro. On the right side, you'll see I'm logged into Coder in a browser. I have three workspaces. One is called IntelliJ Community. This is based on a template called JetBrains IntelliJ, um, which is creating a workspace as a Kubernetes pod. It mounts a persistent volume claim. It already has a repo, a sample Java repo that's cloned. And you'll see I've created a compute in that <clears throat> that was specified in that template of four uh, CPU cores and eight gigs of memory. When you're running a JetBrains IDE um, inside of a workspace, we always recommend these settings, if not higher. So let's show you how to add the coder plugin into Gateway. You go to the wrench on the bottom left, go to settings, and there's a marketplace, and you would search on it. In this case, I already have it installed. You'll see it says installed, but that's how you would add it. <clears throat> Close out, and then click on connect to coder. So in this case, I've already signed in uh, through the coder plugin. How you would do that, if this was not there, you would add the access URL which is the DNS entry that developers use to log into Coder in a browser. Click Connect, it'll take you to your browser session, ask you to authenticate, and then generate an API key or session token, which you would enter here. Uh, it will then download the Coder CLI to then communicate between Gateway and Coder. So you'll see my three workspaces. If I click on IntelliJ, click Select IDE and Project, <clears throat> you will see it. Um, in this case, auto detect that JetBrains, JetBrains IntelliJ is actually in the workspace and it asks you for my, uh, for my project home and I'll click start. At this point, it starts jet, the JetBrains IDE inside of the coder workspace and then renders it inside of the JetBrains gateway client. <clears throat> so you'll see it took me back to my last Java file that I was, that I was working on. Hope this helps.